it's just started raining here so hopefully that doesn't distract too much on the audio um, just in my conservatory the rain is coming down on the top of the windows uh, so today this scene is Liverpool and it was actually a friend of mine that wanted me to do this piece for her since so a commission um, and just with the the actual scene itself it's very very complicated really complex there's lots of architectural details and you can see um, I did the pencil stage and I drew it out quite I wouldn't say accurately but as as accurately as I could um, it's not something that you can sort of paint loosely um, so I it that was probably the hardest part of this painting was doing the sort of outline and you can see here I'm doing the lining ink and instead of doing the black ink I wanted to do the sepia so I'm doing the um, pen with my Mangaka sepia pen I think I used the 0.2 because I didn't want a really thick outline I just wanted uh, fairly small enough to sort of see and I do I do find anything less than a 0.2 is a bit scratchy on the paper um, so you can make a line if it's a 0 0.1 or point I think they, they go to 0 0.05 and they're they're a bit scratchy so you have to do a few lines just to get something that's uh, visible um, so I'm, I'm using the 0 0.2 so for the buildings, I decided to have that nice sort of warm um, yellow ochre mix with uh, bits of sort of raw sienna and um, just just darkening up a little bit here and there, with maybe a bit of grey or blue. But that's the main the main colour is the yellow ochre. So I do find that it's it's. That's probably the same colour as the actual reference. And these domes on top of the... It's actually the liver building that you can see with the birds on the top. Um, there's actually a building in front of the the, the liver building. Um, but the domes I'm painting sort of a pen's grey mix. And there's an interesting little sort of dome just in the middle of where I'm painting. And that's more of a sort of white. It almost looks like some sort of light. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll leave that. Um, maybe use some opaque paint once I get round to painting that. There are a few little bits of highlight here and there that I want to use um, white gouache with. And one being the uh, clock face on the... Um, liver building as you can see I've just left the the circle for the clock face for now um, I'll be using fresh white paint to sort of go over that and then do the sort of um, paint the clock face itself or maybe just use the pen just to get the dials in and the, the sort of time um, the think the hands on the clock so yeah just there's quite a few details and I know um, um, she wanted me to do um, some of the sort of construction. Um, at the time this picture was taken, there's quite a lot of building work going on. Um, and I know we've been to Liverpool a few times and there seems to always be a building somewhere. I think, I think like any city, any big city, um, there's always some sort of cranes and diggers and sort of diversions on the traffic um, so that's the case with this actual photo we did actually go um, the video that I shared at the beginning um, some of the videos that I took last time we was in Liverpool um, and I think that was probably the first time that the building had sort of stopped or probably moved on it's probably gone somewhere else but yeah so it's quite a complicated scene quite complex so I'm not going to copy it exact I, I don't think that's possible I, I don't think I could do that so I'm just getting the sort of overall um, structure the overall sort of shapes 
And that's one of the interesting things. Um, in fact, it was one of the very first paintings that I did um, in oils. It was Liverpool, the docks. And it's quite interesting because at first I thought, and I think I mentioned this on a video previously, at first I thought, I just didn't think it was possible for me to paint such a um, busy sort of city scene. But I think as I started the painting, all I saw was, well, all the buildings are just rectangles and squares and just all these different shapes. And so it really isn't as difficult as you think. Um, so it's just, just a case of breaking, breaking the uh, scene down almost into uh, almost into sort of semi abstract shapes or you just go for the big shapes and then start filling in around the big shapes so you got to look at the scene and you sort of got to question yourself which, which is the biggest sort of shape and that that could even include the sky um if there's water on the scene then the water can be another shape and you just sort of take it from there, you go from the biggest shapes down to the sort of smaller details um, once you've got everything into 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 place. So it, I think the more complicated the scene, then you want to sort of take a bit more time with the pencil, get everything sort of mapped out. And it doesn't matter if it takes three or four times. Once that pencil's down, um, you can see if you're going to have a convincing painting at the end i suppose so it really is quite important the pencil um, sketching sort of stage it's just a way in which you know where to go and what the overall sort of um pictures the scene's going to look like so just just going in um you can see there's lots of nice little sort of details on the on the wall and there's a of course a reflection so this is almost probably the darkest part of the scene and I, I, I like this part because it sort of cuts the, the scene, cuts the painting, not in half, but you've got the, the above the wall and then below where all the shadows, the reflections are. So I quite like the, the wall and the sort of details in that. And I also put in some cars on the car park on the far left hand side, if you can see that, just above the wall so on the car part there so quite quite like those sort of details um i think i've i've got pretty much everything in the scene that i wanted to get and there's some nice big posts um some sort of um construction posts going through the sort of middle of the scene there's there's three of those um so i just wanted to include those as well well i hope you like this painting if you do, then please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.